Hey there pilots, this is Dala Sam, and today we'll be looking at the history of the Mitsubishi A5M4 and its flight characteristics in War Thunder. The Mitsubishi A5M was designated Type 96 carrier-based fighter and was a Japanese carrier-based fighter aircraft. It was the world's first monoplane shipboard fighter and the direct ancestor of the famous Mitsubishi A6M0. The Allied reporting name was Claude. In 1934, the Imperial Japanese Navy prepared a specification for an advanced fighter requiring a maximum speed of 350 km per hour at 3,000 meters, and able to climb it to 5,000 meters in six and a half minutes. This 9 Shi specification produced designs from both Mitsubishi and Nakajima. Mitsubishi assigned the task of designing the new fighter to a team led by Horikoshi, the resulting design, designated KA-14 by Mitsubishi, was an all-metal, low-wing fighter with a thin elliptical inverted gull wing and a fixed undercarriage, which was chosen as the increase in performance arising from the use of retractable undercarriage was not felt to justify the extra weight. The first prototype, powered by a 600-horsepower Nakajima Kotobuki 5 radial engine, flew on February 4, 1935. The aircraft far exceeded the requirements of the specification, with a maximum speed of 450 km per hour being reached. The second prototype was fitted with a revised, ungold wing, and after various changes to maximize maneuverability and reduce drag, was ordered into production as the A5M. With the KA-14 demonstrating excellent performance, the Imperial Japanese Army Air Force ordered a single modified prototype for evaluation as the KI-18. While this demonstrated similar performance to the Navy aircraft and hence was far faster than the Imperial Japanese Army Air Force's current fighter, the Kawasaki KI-10 biplane, the type was rejected by the Army owing to its reduced maneuverability. The Army then produced a specification for an improved advanced fighter to replace the KI-10. Mitsubishi, busy turning the KA-14 into the A-5M, submitted a minimally changed aircraft as the KI-33, this being defeated by Nakajimi's competing aircraft, which was ordered into service as the KI-27. The aircraft entered service in early 1937, soon seeing action in pitched aerial battles at the start of the Second Sino-Japanese War including air-to-air -air battles with the Republic of China Air Force's Boeing P-26C Model 281 pea shooters in what was the world's first ever aerial dogfighting and kills between monoplane fighters built of mostly metal. Chinese nationalist pilots, primarily flying the Curtis Hawk III, put up a valiant fight against the Japanese, but the A-5M was the better of almost every fighter aircraft encountered. Though armed with only a pair of 7.7mm machine guns, the new fighter proved effective and damage tolerant, with excellent maneuverability and robust construction. Later on, A5Ms also provided much needed escorts for the thin modern but vulnerable Mitsubishi G3M bombers. The Mitsubishi team continued to improve the A5M, working through versions until the final A5M4 which carried an external underside drop tank to provide fuel for extended range. The A5M's most competitive adversary in the air was the Polykarpov I-16, a fast and heavily armed fighter flown by both Chinese Air Force regulars and Soviet volunteers. Fierce air battles in 1939, especially on the 18th of February and 29th of April, ranked among the largest air battles ever fought at the time. The Battle of April 29th saw 67 Polykarpov fighters against 18 G3Ms escorted by 27 A5Ms. Each side claimed victory. The Chinese-Soviet side claimed 21 Japanese aircraft, shot down with 50 Japanese airmen killed, and two captured having bailed out while losing 12 aircraft and five pilots killed. The Japanese claimed they lost only two G3Ms and two A5Ms shot down with no less than 40 Chinese pilots shot down. 
104 A5M aircraft were modified to accommodate a two-seater cockpit. This version, used for pilot training, was dubbed the A5M4K. K version planes continued to be used for pilot training long after the standard A5Ms left frontline service. Almost all A5Ms had open cockpits. A closed cockpit was tried but found little favor among Navy aviators. All had fixed, non-retractable undercarriages. Wheel spats were a feature of standard fighters but not training planes. Some A5Ms remained in service at the end of 1941 when the United States entered World War II in the Pacific. U.S. intelligence sources believed the A5M still served as Japan's primary Navy fighter, when in fact the A6M-0 had replaced it on first-line aircraft carriers. Other Japanese carriers and air groups continued to use the A5M until production of the Zero caught up with demand. The last combat actions with the A5M as a fighter took place at the Battle of the Coral Sea on May 7, 1942 when two A-5Ms and four A-6Ms of the Japanese carrier Soho fought against U.S. planes and sank their carrier. In the closing months of the war, most remaining A-5M airframes were used as for kamikaze attacks. In War Thunder, there is one variant of the A-5M-4. It is a Rank 1, Battle Rating 1.3 Naval Light Fighter. It has a maximum speed of 447 km per hour, a turn time of 12.3 seconds, and a rate of climb of 12.8 meters per second. It is armed with two 7.7 .7 Type 89 machine guns with a thousand rounds. With the A5M4, don't expect to do much damage. It is a very nimble fighter, but is very easily damaged. When firing on an enemy, aim for the cockpit in order to take out the pilot, as you will not be able to take out components of all but the lightest of targets. I hope that this information has proved helpful. If you liked the video, please do like the video. If you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel, and if you think anyone else would be interested in this video, don't be afraid to share it. This is Dauntless Sam. Thanks for watching.